How we doing folks at home? It is early January um, 2008. Happy New Year. Uh, I've taken a week or so off from this bike project to, uh, you know, enjoy the holidays. Uh, yes, the bag. I was, I was hitting the bag earlier. Um, I do a little boxing occasionally. I have a fight February 2nd at Shippensburg University if anyone wants to come. Anyway, um, took the bike to the bike shop. Uh, first I took it to Bike Line and they were very helpful. And then I took it to a more local bike shop and he was very helpful as well. Uh, bought a couple tools. As you can see the uh, pedal thing is off. Uh, yep, here it is right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks pretty bent up because I was beating the shit out of it. But all is well. And um, use this little tool to take it off. It's pretty helpful. Um, stuck it on, tightened it. If you need a wrench, tighten it with the wrench and pop it off. Worked well. The guy at the shop was like, well, how the hell did you get the first one off? I was like, I beat the shit out of it because I'm an idiot. Um, at any time, I uh, use the improper term for anything technical. Feel free to correct me because I'm an idiot, as I'm sure you've all seen. And then I bought this thing. It's like 20 bucks. It is like the Swiss Army knife of bike tools. Very sweet. Um, it's got all kinds of goodies, including a... Uh, Oops, a bottle cap opener. It slides apart quickly and easily. Um, a variety of wrenches and whatnot. Very cool. But the coolest part about this is this little part right here, which easily also slides off. This is used to break the chain. Um, if you ever look at a chain, it has little links and stuff, you put this thing on there, pop one of those little rivet thingies out, and it disconnects the chain. Um, right here, you would need to put a little Allen wrench in there to do the turning. But aside from that, it's all good. And it all came with this thing. Oh, and I also bought a book today. I'm not endorsing the book that I bought because I don't know if it's any good or not, but it has pictures and it seems legit. I'm not going to show you what book that is, because if it's a piece of shit and I think it's stupid, well then, I'm not going to be the one to say go buy it. Because I'm not saying go buy it, I'm just saying I bought one, and maybe it will help me with my troubles. Um, so yeah, we have a basic frame now. Uh, I talked to two separate people about painting the bike. Both said don't do it. Uh, one guy said it would be really expensive to do it properly, which would include sandblasting and blah 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 blah, um, which I'm obviously not going to do. But uh, the second guy said that this bike looks real cool all beat up and stuff, which, you know, that's legit. But as a painter, um, as a guy who paints or has painted, I would consider myself nationally ranked in the amateur editions of uh, painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to paint the whole thing. I'm just going to paint these little pieces right here. I'm going to uh, paint this green. I'm going to paint them both green. And I have this, this is the paint I bought. Spray paint, easy to apply. Control rust, Sherwin-Williams. Um, good for interior, exterior, exterior uh, metal and wood. Uh, weather resistant, rust resistant, durable finish. Sounds pretty legit. And this shit is great. Um, crystal clear. Basically, you spray it on there. It's an acrylic that uh, should give it that shine. I'm not sure if it will, but it should. It gives it a nice finish usually. But like I said with this bike, um, I'm not really 100%. So I'm going to paint both of them green and then one with the acrylic finish and see how they turn out. And if it turns out awesome, which it probably will because I'm a great painter, then I might as well just do the whole thing. But I'm going to do that now, actually. I'm going to paint them and let you know how it turns out. Au revoir. Hello, folks at home. Um, I'm about to paint the bike. Use blue painter's tape. 
to tape all the sections I don't want to have painted. And um, I've wiped clean the uh, part that I am going to paint just to get rid of any dirt or dust or anything like that so the paint sticks. It's blue painter's tape. Um, if you don't have any tape, uh, you can buy uh, just normal tape. You don't really need uh, painter's tape. It's a little more pricey. This stuff will work just as, just as good. But avoid duct tape and scotch tape because they usually use a sticky, uh, leave a sticky residue. All right. Time for the painting process. Well, I knew I was a great painter, but that shit looks great. <laughs> wow, inspirational music coming from the radio. That is so funny. Anyway, um, this side I just spray painted. This side I spray painted and added some gloss, which seemed to attack it a little bit, the paint. Um, Perhaps I didn't let it dry long enough, or perhaps um, it should have been bare metal uh, without paint. I'm not exactly sure. Um, either way, point is, with just the can of spray paint, that looks great. And I might go against everyone's recommendation and paint the whole thing because I think it looks sexy as hell. It's got that nice dark forest green, that eagle's green, you know. I don't know. I'm liking it. Then again, I might feel like a little lazy and not do it at all. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, boom. Uh, painting your bike, if you're a difference maker, like I am, totally plausible. Um, yeah. You just take your time and get the runs when you see them and wipe them up and... Yeah. It... Ugh. That just looks great. Oh man, that is beautiful. Alright.